Osteogenesis imperfecta, we all know, is a genetic disorder which is often associated mainly with brittle bones. This is the most common connective tissue disorder which affects primarily the bone. Now, there may also be other extraskeletal features like cardiac valvular disease, the blue sclera, hearing loss or even hypercalciduria. Now, the classification of osteogenesis imperfecta has evolved a lot over the years. Hello and welcome to Medical Dialogues Journal Club, your daily dose of health and medical news. I am Dr. Nandita Mohan and today I will be discussing about this rare genetic disorder that is osteogenesis imperfecta with newer data from medical genetics. Osteogenesis imperfecta is associated with multiple skeletal changes. Mutations in the alpha chain of the collagen molecule makes the bone excessively fragile. Now, also prolonged immobilization and muscle wasting often causes secondary bone loss. All this features in particularly has been revealed in a recent study that has been published in the Journal of the Associations of Physicians of India. Now, the research that I'm talking about today is a case study of a 38-year-old male who was admitted with generalized body ache. He was later diagnosed with osteogenesis imperfecta type 3. On examination, the patient was found to have a triangular face, dentinogenesis imperfecta, pectus carinatum, saber tibia and even severe kyphoscoliosis. The x-ray of the chest revealed bent and deformed ribs with generalized cortical bone thinning. X-ray of the skull, it revealed multiple vermian bones, while X-ray of the foot revealed thinning of the metatarsals. The CT scan of the brain revealed typical features of basilar impression. The lateral X-ray of the vertebrae revealed severe osteopenia and collapse in multiple sites. There was no blue sclera and hearing was also normal. Unfortunately, due to poverty, he had not received medical supervision or any specific therapy like bisphosphonates from childhood. He also had multiple histories of fractures of long bones, but each time he just received emergency care. Such bones are liable to fracture and they tend to bend easily. That is the reason for the markedly bent ribs that were seen in the patient. Basilar impression as a serious craniocervical malformation seen in some cases. There is an upward displacement of the basilar and the condylar position of the occipital bone, causing infolding of the foramen magnum and translocation of the upper cervical vertebrae in the brainstem region. So, keeping all these features, these skeletal malformations that have been observed, the researchers concluded that this condition can remain asymptomatic as in this particular case or may even give rise to serious neurological consequences. Thus, the screening for basilar impression in osteogenesis imperfecta patients is definitely needed even if they are asymptomatic. The axial or the sagittal CT scan or an MRI scan of the craniocervical region can help in early diagnosis of the condition. That's all for today. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for latest updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.